Hey everyone, this is Ryan Corkman with Broadcast Buddy TV, the all-around go-to channel for all things broadcast television. And on this channel, it is our goal to equip you with the tips, tricks, and know-hows to help make you a better broadcaster. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload. With that being said, well, here we are, guys. This is update number eight of the video production trailer to house the fly pack. And wow, I am embarrassed for how long this took. Uh, if those paying attention will notice it's been, I think, over a year since the last one. And it's not that I didn't want to make updates, it's just we got so busy with other things and then we were just doing little bits and pieces here and there and I didn't really get to a point where I felt that we had done enough to warrant an actual update video. So I know a lot of you have been asking me about this, so here you go. Um, we're gonna go through it here in just a moment. Um, but that's, that's the story behind it. And uh, we do have Dan now on camera in the back. So uh, he's gonna be walking around with me so I don't have to just point and shoot. But in any case, we're gonna go take a look. Let's get into it. One of the things you might see right off the bat is going to be, we have a dashboard monitor here. So now we have a actual uh, PC back here behind in the fly pack. And it comes out to a little touchscreen dashboard here just for more utility when controlling the switcher for the technical director. Um, and I think in the last video, I didn't even have this sitting here. It was down here sitting on the shelf. So this is up and running and uh, we have had quite a few uh, actual productions out of this. So it has been on the road, it has been live and uh, yeah, it's been certainly getting a lot of use. Now, the reason you see these cables here is because one of the uh, productions we're doing right now, high school football is it's it is a little bit of a skeleton crew and we don't actually have a dedicated shader for the cameras. So the shader in a box, which you'll see in a little bit that we made another you know, whole video on making, uh, they actually are setting it here right next to the TD uh, slash director so they can you know, shade their cameras. So that's why all the serial cables and the power cable is here. Um, the nano patch. So I mentioned in the last video that these speakers were uh, set up but not wired. Well, they are actually wired to everything now. So you have your control room volume here that you can uh, now effectively raise and lower the volume of the production here between the two speakers. So that's there. Um, <laughs> there's a funny story of this. Maybe I'll tell you guys another time, but we have uh, little car mirrors here so that when the director or producer on the other side sitting here they can get a quick glance of what's behind them to see if they're uh if the crew is in place or you know so they don't have to turn their head it is a funny story why we even had to do that but uh yeah oh down here so we mentioned that we were considering maybe tearing the carpet out of here so that we could do um something different but we ended up finding this nice little uh, trim here and putting it in as a way that we could kind of incorporate that into the actual shelving. And it's worked really great. Problem is every time we go to get more of it, it's out of stock. So that's why it's not on the bottom here yet. But yeah, just putting that in, getting a little uh, brush of black on it and really turned out nice. And you know, now of course we can have this stuff in here and not worry about it flying all over the place when we're actually in transit. Um, down here in the corner, you know, you gotta be safe. So we have our fire extinguishers. We have one in the back as well. And uh, yeah, I, I've actually heard stories of production units going up in smoke. So that's definitely uh, something you wanna be wary of. Um, down here, utilizing some shelf space for our uh, Anton Bauer batteries for uh, the wireless cameras and stuff. So again, we had mentioned that we were uh, putting uh, little AC outlets here. So this has been very useful, um, you know, and charging your phone at the very least, but also, you know, charging some things and uh, having it right here and accessible. Um, the phone, I know it was here last time. I didn't really mention it, but we have a phone that's tied into our intercom system. Um, and for those paying real close attention, 
might notice a different intercom system in here than a year ago. So over the past six months, we actually upgraded our analog clearcom system for channel party line into an actual digital intercom system by RTS. And uh, it's sporting the Odin frame, which is their 1RU uh, basically digital intercom matrix. And uh, so far it's been really great. Uh, I love it. I, really want to make a video on it um, not specifically rts but intercoms in general i feel like that would be a really good uh, uh, instructional video kind of similar to the other ones i've done in the past and uh, i know everyone still wants me to do a video on what's in the fly pack and design and everything and i will i promise i will do that at some point so back here in the last video and here's what i'm here's what i meant is like so this I'm embarrassed that it's not painted yet. It's just one of those minor things that we just haven't got around to yet. And it's just a matter of trying to get a bunch of little things done again. Hopefully, um, I will probably do at least one more update video after this to cover all of the little things that I've missed. But in any case, down here. So in the last video, this was a mess. And uh, Jonathan really came up with a cool solution, taking some uh, some brackets, and we were able to get the breakout box now mounted here in a very nice, clean fashion. We got it strapped in so it doesn't fly out anywhere. Um, on top, it's going to be kind of hard to see, but is all the uh, HDMI keyboard outs that go up into the actual uh, peripherals up here as well as on the bottom is the uh, cat5 cables coming in from the uh, back into the fly pack and you know we got the uh, UPS is strapped in because you know they were kind of flailing around all over the place so they're nice and tidy now um, again we have some RTS panels here um, and the reason I decided to go for the desktop ones is of course if the fly pack is out of the trailer and somewhere else, I wanted to be able to remove these as well and put them at the according stations where that becomes useful, right? So if I would have got rack mount ones in here in a way, you know, they would have been stuck here. So we would have had to still have intercom. It, it worked out, it was nice. Um, this wasn't lit up last time, but this is the uh, replay system. It's a Ross Mira and uh, got the nice old style Mira panel now. Um, but yeah, it's been working great, rock solid, and uh, it's basically four channels in, two channels out. Um, the graphite, of course, you've heard me rave about this in the past, um, it's been just, again, rock solid. Um, aside from that, if we come back here, we now have an audio door. Still not carpeted. None of them have been carpeted yet, but it's still, Still great. Um, additionally, another major minor thing is we got the bifold door in here. Um, still a disaster. Not carpeted yet, no shelves, but uh, yeah, at least now we can hide it and uh, no one will know the wiser. Um, aside from that, this hasn't really changed much um, from the last time. It's all still here, all still working great. Um, Shy of the new intercom panel that's in here and it's a lot more cleaned up. Um, Super unrelated, but we did put a uh, dampener in this particular um, air out. Um, it was just too cold in here for the uh, for the operator, and it didn't really need to be. So there's no really equipment back here that could overheat. So that was one thing that he was really complaining about. I was like, man, you know, this is just brutal. So we put that in to kind of give him a little on and off there. So there's that, but. As far as the production side of the trailer, this has been mostly what we've been working on. And again, I know it's a lot of little things, but really, while you're all here, and I promised in the last video, we would go into the back end engineering. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, probably gonna cut the camera here, or at least pretend I'm gonna cut the camera. I don't know, we'll see. Um, it's gonna be really bright when we go outside, so. I'll decide later in editing whether or not this bit will be in, but we'll see. So we'll come out here. And one thing that you will notice is now we also have steps that we put in. So 
We got these on both doors just to come out and give you a little bit of a minor step up because there were some crew people who were uh, having some troubles getting their foot up there. Um, I don't know if I ever mentioned this on the outside, um, but we did get these in, of course. We have our outlets for the shore power circuit and the AC power circuit, so that's plugged in right now. Um, didn't quite get a second cable yet, or a power source for a second cable um, for the AC, so what you're about to see in here, I know I'm going to get a lot of comments on it, but it's a temporary fix for the um, AC right now. It's been temporary for a year, but you know, everything's temporary these days. So I'm going to let Dan come in and I'm going to shut the door just so we're not fighting the difference in light. But here we are. Guys, this is this is the back. So, um, oh, we do have the AC on back here. Oh, I can fix that. There we go. Okay. Cut down on some of the noise. Anyways, so this is the back. And the back of the fly pack you've probably seen at some point. But here you'll remember the shader in a box. So this is where this would typically go on a bigger chute. And, uh, you know, the cables back here for the remote control units or from the uh, camera control units, the CCUs, would essentially come straight back into this. Um, and if you wanted to see the actual creation of this custom box, um, there is a video, I'll put it in the link in the description below. Um, we actually build this on this channel, if you haven't seen that already. Um, kind of a temporary solution here. Eventually I would like to mount this or get something mountable, but it's just another multi-viewer, again, looping off of one of these monitors here, just like we mentioned the two in the front are doing as well. So that's there, we can route through it, and we have our own set of speakers back here, just for um, monitoring the audio, program audio, or whatever we decide to put up there. And that's actually controlled on a little box here on the wall. So, um, we have both speakers coming out of there, as well as actually the uh, speakers in the front before it hits that little um, nano box that we had just looked at earlier. So um, if we needed to, we could bring the whole everything down and then they have only a set amount of control there so that they don't overblow anything out or you know get too terrible. But other than that, um, shelf, storage space, right? So we got this nice rolling shelf here and the reason we did that was, so in the case of course, we have to wheel the fly pack out, we wanted to be able to remove the shelf very easily, but we still needed storage. So um, yeah, you just drop the back of the trailer and you uh, unlatch the uh, uh, straps here, and then you can just roll it out, move the fly pack out, and then you can even take the whole uh, shelf in with you to wherever you're going. So yep, that was a pretty recent addition actually, and uh, it's been working out really great. Um, fire extinguisher hiding in the bottom, of course. You know, stay safe. Don't uh, do not do production without one. Um, over here, I am super thrilled with how this turned out. This is um, essentially the engineering station. We have a touchscreen monitor here that's a all-in-one PC and uh, is driving this monitor with its second uh, video out, which is HDMI, I think. And then over here, we have another little video monitor, which is coming off of a spigot on the router um, so that we can route this, check in on different sources. Um, we, of course, have our intercom panel. And uh, yeah, below here, uh, we actually had Dan make these little guys up just for hanging some quick cables and things like that. So this is just, uh, you know, wood with dial rods painted black. That was loud. <laughs> Wood with dowel rods painted black. Um, and this was kind of an idea by Jonathan. We uh, can hang things here, I guess, if we want. Um, we haven't really had a need to, but otherwise it's just kind of a, a bar at this point. Um, this, I will talk about in a later video coming up soon. So that's a little teaser there for that, what that was. 
Um, aside from that, we got a ton of storage at the top here. Um, we put these shelves in, another actual pretty recent addition. Um, these are bins just uh, from like a local um, hardware store. So I like to stay as organized as possible. So having that there, and there's also one on the other side that you may or may not have seen, but yeah. Um, it's been really great, really useful, and uh, hopefully it can spark some ideas for you guys. But uh, aside from that, uh, you will notice that the AC breaker boxes, breaker boxes are a little uh, not complete yet. They actually, they're functioning and they're working, but we're actually, um, to make it easy for here, I'm actually jumping the AC line off of the breaker into one of these so I don't need two separate power lines uh, coming off the truck. And you know, it's it's a good temporary fix. Um, like I said, eventually we're gonna get a second power cable and actually um, a circuit that will be able to manage that at our current warehouse. So very temporary, please don't judge me. <laughs> it works. Anyways, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, just a lot that we were able to get accomplished in uh, the amount of time it took to get to this update video. And as you can see, still a lot of real minor changes and adjustments and finishes we got to do. But uh, yeah, I, I really hope this, this has been a good preview for you for this. And uh, in the coming weeks, hopefully we'll be able to, once things kind of slow down with the uh, current high school football season, we'll be able to tackle some of these real little things and just get everything complete and set to go. But other than that, again, thank you so much for watching. Apologize that this took so long to get out. And I hope you like, share, and subscribe to the video. If you didn't already check out any of my other videos, please do that. In which case, we'll catch you right here next time on Broadcast Buddy TV.